This is the attitude that started our culture. You didn't give a fuck about the mainstream. Fuck the Grammys. Fuck this American music award. Fuck the Sauce Award. Fuck that shit that validate nobody. I tell you a true story. True fucking story. Tell him. KRS One. I'm at the beginning, not help contribute. At the fucking beginning of your MTV raps. Rap City BET. Ralph McDaniels. Hot 97. And Kiss FM. We at the beginning of that shit. At the I wasn't with Beyonce, I was Magic. I was Mr. Magic and MC Shan. Y'all don't know the history? Mr. Magic Volleyball, MC Share was on WPLS. Red Alert, KRS, all the others was actually on KISS. And we had a famous battle over the airwaves. But I say this to say, I say this to say this, don't be a coward. Tell him! I'm gonna say it again. Don't be a coward. getting shot in the back by these racist big cops. Tell him. And you still get on the TV talking about I got the clock in my waist and I'm selling crack. You a fucking sellout to your people. You see, no MCs are gonna say this because they're not the leader of the culture. I don't give a motherfuck. You gonna get the truth tonight. All that bullshit you see and hear on your radio is designed to keep you down. Turn it off! You say it with your mouth. Oh yeah, you know the radio's fucked up, but then you turn it off. Most of us got XM Satellite, they're a criminal organization. How the fuck you got Hip Hop Nation on XM Satellite and they don't even respect the Hip Hop Nation? People can change these situations. You talk about your culture being raped. You talk about, oh, the corporations took the culture. They ain't taking it from me. No, corporations can't take nothing that you don't give up. Corporations can't take nothing that you don't give willingly. And now that we look at hip hop's history over 50 years, we can also see American history over 500. Break it down. We can see a lot of reasons why things are the way they are. Just looking at hip hop's history, you can see a lot of other histories and a lot of other questions are being answered today if your eyes are open. You think about this. If your eyes are open out, 90% of the people in here, I know your eyes are closed. Oh, for real? There's some people in here like, shut the fuck up and turn the music back on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I'm going to say this with my champs on the bike. You see this thing called hip hop? You see this? This is our one opportunity to correct the wrongs of all, all the wrongs of the past. This is our one opportunity. Only one, only one, everything else is failed. Matter of fact, I'll give y'all a minute to think about every other institution on this fucking planet. What is it doing for you? Nothing. Healthcare failed. Education failed. Justice system failed. Religious system failed. Economic system failed. What system is really keeping us together? Look at this. It's the yearning for peace, love, unity, and safely having fun. This has been the principles of our culture since day one. Love, unity, and having so.
some fun. This is called hip hop. Now, the reason I'm saying this to you is because a lot of people had a version of hip hop. Cool Herc got a version. We don't do Herc's hip hop. We don't do Zulu Nation's hip hop. We don't do uh, Grandmaster Flash hip hop. These are all versions of hip hop. We don't even do uh, Def Jam's hip hop anymore. <laughs> These are all versions of hip hop. And we love each version. And each version develops us further and further and further over 50 years. Now you gotta ask yourself a question. Look at the lives of rappers and DJs and B-boys and B-girls. Look at their lives. Fuck these words and these records. After you say all this shit, what's your life like? Okay? What's your family like? What's your spouse like? Where your children? Yep. You see, this is the difference between someone who reads the culture and someone who leads the culture. What we want is unity. This is the strength of any group, any group, any group. We black people, listen to me. There's an argument going on right now about who created hip hop or who originated hip hop. Man, no, listen to this. I want to say this to black people in particular. Ain't nobody more fucking black than me in this building. I'll tell you that right fucking now. I stand on the front lines since fucking, I don't even have to say my resume. Go look the shit up. The deepest part to all African knowledge is divinity, Godship. You're supposed to transcend material matter and this planet. You're the creator of the universe. Black people, Africa is where the human mind was developed. No, you didn't hear me. Africa is where the mind comes from. The concept of consciousness belongs to you. Everybody else is borrowing it. When you are the original human being, you don't come from other people. You come from nature itself. There's nobody before you. You're the first. So if you the first, you got responsibilities on that. Your responsibility ain't to no fucking race. That shit is colonial and imperial. Race is created by immigration departments and courts. That shit makes no sense in nature. In nature. Race does not exist in nature. What exists in nature is the mind, consciousness, the unity of all living beings. This is what nature is striving for, striving for unity and perfection. So if you still caught up on race, you gave your mind over to a colonial system. To hip hop, we have proven, proven, irrefutable evidence. We have proven that all so-called ethnicities, cultures, all that shit, bullshit. Look at this audience right now. Look at look, look. This is science. Look at who's in the room right now. This is hip hop. This is hip hop. This. That's what's up. From the time we began, when we started this shit, because 
see a lot of dudes talking and was not fucking there. Well, here we go. Here we go. When we started this, it was specifically American black folk, Jamaicans specifically, and Puerto Ricans. This group. Now look at this. The same way. Look, if you raised by a colonist, you're gonna talk and act like one. So even though we black folk went through years of segregation, now in 2024, that's what we want to practice toward our Latino brothers and sisters. This is the colonial mind at work. They tried to say that America was built only by white folk. And even white folk knew that was bullshit. But this is the narrative. The narrative is the whole country was built by white people. So now black folk gotta run and find their history. Latino people gotta find their history. Nobody talks about the Chinese in this country. The railroads and all that shit. Nobody give a fuck about the Koreans, Thai. All these people been in America. Okay? But we just say all white folk did it, and that's what that's on the dollar bill, that's the constitution, that's what it is. Now if you really understand how criminal and how backwards that shit is, you don't practice that in your own culture. You see, you can't say you're healed from something if you won't keep practicing it. So if you're gonna say, nah, segregation was wrong, we should all come together as human beings. Yo, hip hop was created by a group of people called breakers, MCs, graffiti writers, and DJs. If that's your view, then welcome to hip hop culture. But if in fact you think for some reason one race of people made this, oh, nah, nah, nah. And this is what I say, every philosopher, benefits or suffers by their own knowledge. So, I invite you, all of us talking on the internet and shit, judge our lives. Judge our lives. My life is an open fucking book. In fact, it's called the Gospel of Hip Hop, actually. When you live a righteous life, you ain't got shit to hide. of the universe. You stand like I told you. I'm 59 right now. I'm ready to rip y'all for another hour. This is spirit. And I want young people to see that shit. And when I say young, I mean 40.
That's my commercial break.